Hey there. It's a Sunday, October 29th. Let's do Proverbs 29. <clears throat> here we go. Getting towards the end here again. Verse 1. Whoever remains stiff-necked after many rebukes will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. <laughs> stiff-necked. That's an interesting term, huh? Stiff neck after many rebukes. When the righteous thrive, the people rejoice. When the wicked rule, people groan. Yeah. I think the whole world's groaning right now, huh? A man who loves wisdom brings joy to his father, but a companion of prostitutes squanders his wealth. Mm -hmm. Like the prodigal son, huh? By justice, a king gives the country stability by those who are greedy for bribes tear it down. But those who are greedy for bribes tears it down. And does this? We don't have kings, but there are a lot of people on the East Coast in a certain district who are supposed to represent all of us who are greedy for bribes. Hmm? I've always thought that lobbying and stuff like that should be illegal, but it's not. No. Verse five, those who flatter their neighbors are spreading nets for their feet. <laughs> well, that could go both ways. Huh? Evildoers are snared by their own sin, but the righteous shout for joy and are glad. Eventually they all are. The righteous care about justice for the poor, but the wicked have no such concern. I like that one. I like that one. Sometimes you gotta let them sink in a little bit and then something will come in your head that you can talk about. Verse eight, mockers stir up a city, but the wise turn away anger. Lots of that going on now, huh? If a wise person goes to court with a fool, the fool rages and scoffs, and there is no peace. Yeah. <laughs> the bloodthirsty hate a person of integrity and seek to kill the upright. Yeah. So, another group of people that are doing that to another group of people right now. Fools give vent to their rage, but the wise bring calm in the end. Yeah. If a ruler listens to lies, all his officials become wicked. Mm -hmm. The poor of the oppressor have this in common. The poor and the oppressor have this in common. The Lord gives sight to the eyes of both. If a king judges the poor with fairness, his throne will be established forever. Right. A rod and a reprimand impart wisdom, but a child left undisciplined disgraces his mother. Solomon was big on discipline, <clears throat> as we all should be. When the wicked thrive, so does sin, but the righteous will see their downfall. We will. We will discipline your children and they, and they will give you peace. They will bring you the delights you desire. Where there is no revelation, people cast off restraint. But, the, but blessed is the one who heeds wisdom's instruction. Where there is no revelation. I mean, when you don't get it, when you don't get it. <clears throat> Verse 19, servants cannot be corrected by mere words. Though they understand, they will not respond. Yeah. A lot of people are like that. Do you see someone who speaks in haste? There is more hope for a fool than for them. All right. Flying off the handle, they used to say. A servant pampered from youth will turn out to be insulin. 
Yeah, or child. An angry person stirs up conflict, and a hot-tempered person commits many sins. Yes. You're not in control of yourself when you are, if you have a temper. Pride brings a person low, but the lowly in spirit gain honor. The accomplices of thieves are their own enemies. They are put under oath and dare not testify. Right. Right. <clears throat> Fear of men will prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. Good stuff. Many seek an audience with a ruler, but it is from the Lord that one gets justice. Hmm? And verse 27, the righteous detest the dishonest, the wicked detest the upright. Yeah. Kind of explains the world right now, huh? So that's 29. Let's see what we highlighted. <laughs> First one, whoever remains stiff-necked after many rebukes will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. Hmm. And we highlighted, when the righteous thrive, the people rejoice. When the wicked rule, the people groan. A lot of groaning going on right now, huh? I do believe the wicked are ruling. And verse 4. By justice, a king gives the country stability, but those who are greedy for bribes tears it down. Hmm? What was this? Or who give? Hmm? Those who give bribes tears it down. Yeah. And I just can't. You're reading verse 4. I just, I mean, just you think about Congress. I mean, you just think about Congress and the House and the Senate. And... and how we pay them 170,000 a year but but their net worth of every single member tends to go up over one and a half million dollars a year where does that money come from right there bribes and if we the people are paying them 170,000 and they're getting you know, a hundred times more than that from somebody else. Who are they going to listen to? Tears it down. <clears throat> and this was written thousands of years ago, so you know, things never change. We highlighted verse 7. The righteous care about justice for the poor, but the wicked have no such concern. Right. The wicked, what do they want to do to the poor? They want to kill them. They want to kill them all. Mm -hmm. They have some horrible names for them. Useless eaters. And just, you know, instead of a people made in God's image, they think very low of them. And Solomon talked about that. Verse 10, the bloodthirsty hate a person of integrity and seek to kill the upright. Right, bloodthirsty mobs burning down cities sound familiar <clears throat> we didn't highlight verse 11 but we will now fools bring full vent to their rage mobs cities Verse 15 we hide, a rod and a reprimand impart wisdom, but a child left undisciplined disgraces its mother. And along with that, verse 17, discipline your children and they will give you peace. They will bring you the delights you desire. Very important to discipline your children. And we highlighted verse 27, the righteous detests the dishonest, the wicked detests the upright. People can't stand the truth, you know. If they're living a lie, they just won't hear the truth. So, that's Proverbs 29 for October 29th. Good stuff in there. Still sounds like these headlines get ripped from yesterday's newspaper, huh? I mean, written thousands of years ago. You know, 
kind of a vicious circle, you know. The more things change, the more they stay the same. But soon it will end. So get right where you can because all the signs are here. We'll do Proverbs 30 tomorrow. Until then, see you next time.